Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Session Recap, 18th of July, 2016. My name is Nenad, and uh, I hope that you had a great weekend. We had an excellent week before. We had four wins, one loss, and uh, a lot of really huge number of pips to be made on GBP dollar and uh, pair. So the thing, so the thing is that I have been absent. I I was in Croatia and Slovenia, and I had uh, two great seminars. So I couldn't uh, make the analysis every day, but I hope that you enjoyed uh, recap trades and additional dollar yen trade that I gave you last week on, of course, Admiral Markets website. As you remember, uh, the, the previous week was very very good. And uh, I mean, it was like 300 pips for uh, such a big uh, moment uh, that was that was made on 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 uh, many pairs, including uh, pound dollar. And this trade, uh, this single setup that was not connected to a session recap uh, was dollar yen, and I gave you uh, on July 14. And I hope that you made nice pips because it was good for. 50, 60 pips instantly. Uh, and Rex is saying you're a top man. Thank you, Tra thank you, Rex. I'm really trying to uh, to give you everything, uh, the best, and I'm always try uh, trying to give you the best setups, no matter if we have volatility or not. For all requests uh, requests concerning indicators such as MACD pivot points, please send it to my email okay I can send you MACD indicator I can send you whatever I say I can send you so just send me to tarantulafx at gmail.com yeah so uh, before we begin as always our standard risk disclaimer explaining that online education materials are developed by Admiral Markets Estonia for a global audience so take into consideration that information this session this session should not be shared with anyone uh, and uh, the corresponding information on charting conditions and every other detail uh, you should visit other markets global sector country presidents and contact an appropriate entity risk disclosure statement stating all possible risks associated with forex market by accepting the risk you're also proceeding further with me and final part explain that this is solely my opinion and that other markets utility takes no responsibility for information accuracy. So let's start. Download, guys. Download Armour Market Supreme Edition. It's a great add on to your trading. It will greatly empower your trading decisions. And I'm sure that it can help you and that it can help your trades uh, really, really to the great extent. The point uh, in having a uh, Armour Market Supreme Edition is not just that you trade with other markets but actually you're using the best tool set you could possibly have from any broker really and you know my articles the fact is that top brokers need you to be successful and other markets is definitely one of it I'm, I'm staying true and faithful because I have five different accounts and I also trade so I'm not just an analyst for you, I'm also a trader. Uh, Admiral Markets is the officially best MT4 broker, don't forget it, by UK votes in 2015. Concerning our session recaps, all recap trades and analysis is done with Camarilla MACD. Now, for all of you who don't know what Camarilla MACD is, it's my method that I have personally created and actually uh, it's... Uh, it's a very unique, it's one of a kind, and I do the analysis every day. So you get always best setups from my method. You need to give price a breathing room. You enter usually within 15 pips of the predicted level if it's in agreement with your system. So when I say, uh, okay, guys, now there, this is a possible time to enter, uh, or you, you see a POC point, then you know that it's actually the time for you to enter the market so yeah when you see POC point that is a buffer zone and that is the zone where we usually enter the market so pay attention to that okay now another thing is 
use scaling in okay you always use scaling in uh, not always literally but if you see that the market will retrace to to POC or buffer zone and maybe deeper into buffer zone or POC then you should actually uh, scale in if you don't know what a scaling is scaling in is it's actually uh, one uh, kind of trade management uh, uh, one of a kind maybe trade management where you actually add to your positions but you uh, effectively keep your risk the same okay so you're adding into positions your winning positions or two retracement but you're actually uh, you're actually uh, keeping your stop loss the same so for example let's say that we have our uh, buffer zone somewhere here Okay, and the price is going to retrace. It is very close to POC. You can opt to enter with, Z, with let's say, one-third of your trade. As the price enters within the zone and retraces towards deeper uh, zone levels, you add one more third and finally one more third, and you effectively have one full position diverged at three different entries. Your stop loss should be kept the same and if you earn profits, your profits will always exponentially rise and your, uh, and your uh, losses will go exponentially down if you use scaling in. Now of course a drawback of scaling in is that actually if you see that the price is not going to retrace deeper you might only get within one third of a trade and that will be your position. So it's up to you to decide. Respect your stop loss, add the spread to your stop loss. If you're trading with ECN account, then let's say add in between two and five pips uh, with, uh, with, uh, to your uh, position. Raymond Henderson is asking, do you give stop loss? Yes, I always put stop loss always. We take only one position. First touch of the zone or level is the most profitable. Uh, thanks, Ray uh, Raymond. Okay. Okay. So a lot of comments and uh, okay. And yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, first touch of the zone and level is the most profitable. Uh, so uh, it's very important to say that. Uh, you should trade the first touch of the level or the zone because guys when price let's say that we have a downtrend and when price starts to retrace usually the first touch of the zone will be the most profitable because there are now moment in this example sellers aligned with historical sellers and one of the great advantage of forex market trading is that uh, uh, is actually aligning now moment uh, buyers and sellers with historical buyers and sellers, and that is a great thing because historical buyers and sellers will appear in the present somewhere, of course, where we identify them. Positional trades are trend trades, alternative trades, counter trend trades, breakout and scalp trade levels are done independently. That is a second entry, usually. usually. Depending on time and volatility, usage of trailing stop is highly recommended, usually after 20 pips of a profit, not less. These setups are valid for today, tomorrow, and some, sometimes the day after tomorrow. Scalp trade should be done at or very close to import and support resistance levels, and all those trades are calculated by historic levels and Camarilla. You can add these levels to your system, pay attention to my Twitter updates, and the pips pool is the maximum available number of pips you could have got on recap entries. Okay, now, past week results, 11th of July 2016. Euro dollar, 80 pip. 80 pips. Pound dollar 140 pips. Well, guys, this was the trade of the week, definitely. Ori dollar plus 60 pips. Euro GBP minus 35 pips. Ori N plus 45 pips. Total possible pips pool was 290. 
you could have got more maybe but this is usually the highest pip count you could have got like 50 percent of out of it but again it was a very good recap and i hope that you made good pips with it okay trade of the week pound dollar this was euro dollar trade this line represents the time of our webinar so yeah this was yeah sorry Audi New Zealand yes Audi New Zealand thanks for correcting me so euro dollar was the trade uh, that gave us uh, initially huge number of pips so this was the time of the webinar this line represents the time of the webinar the price went into retracement here and you can see it rejected from 11.20. Stop loss was 11.50. Okay, this was almost a not drawdown trade. And watch this, guys. See the power of historical sellers. Don't underestimate the power of historical sellers. That is a huge advantage in Forex trading. Sellers here. And the price was very close to our target price, 1020, but it stopped at 1040 and then rejected. But here, this was the maximum pip span you could have got on euro dollar. Now, next one is GBP dollar. Okay, GBP dollar is actually was in a downtrend, and I told you that we could sell at 32.50 with 100 pip stop loss and some traders actually asked me why did I put 100 pip stop loss my answer my answer was guys your risk should be fixed let's say 1% but stop loss is not fixed okay so this was our entry the price went in a drawdown, but it didn't touch our stop loss, and it strongly, it was strongly rejected towards 31 level. So the first target was hit, and almost the second target. Uh, Greg is saying euro is only 40 pip away from that level now. Yes, a euro dollar, but this happened already, Greg, and this was past week review. This is not now moment set up. This is past week review. So this happened actually on 12th of July, Greg. So you see, we had a sell, and actually you could have made some profit here. Or if you're still in a trade, I advise you to actually take the profit now. It's been too long since, uh, because these are effectively intra-week setups, okay? Yes, history repeats, but look at this, once, twice, three times, okay? So history repeat, repeated, actually, one, two, three, four, five times. Sometimes, next historical level will repeat. Maybe this one. What do you think, Greg? So if this level is rejected for five times, maybe next time, sellers won't be so lucky to sell there but maybe here you see so that is why you cannot say for granted that is why you need to do technical analysis and yeah well gbp dollar the still is was the, the trade of the week uh i will answer your question guys okay so please you can just uh enter your question in the chat window and i will of course answer but uh, I will answer when I finish with showing past week and current setups Australian dollar was in uptrend okay and you see there was positional buy trade at 74.70 and alternative sell at 76.40 what happened is actually we had a sell here at 76.40 the price went nice 60 pips drop and you see it was a winning trade 
Euro GBP was an instant loss. We had a buy position at seven at eighty three seventy five with stop loss at eighty three forty. This is when we had a webinar. The price retrades towards our point POC, but actually it uh, maybe we should have had a bit more of a stop loss. But I don't know. Yeah, you see the price went down. It was congested in this area here. So this was actually a good area to go long, but actually our stop loss was hit. And you see the price went up afterwards. And Australian dollar, New Zealand, well, uh, another good one. 1.0470 was a sell. See, price went to 0 0.460, so it's still within 15p buffer and it was sold. So when you see these levels for buy and sell trades, you should know guys that those levels are actually uh, zones, so treat it with a 15 pip buffer. Sometimes if you see that the price is close to buffer zone but it's shy 1 pip, 2, 3 pips from it, Go with lower risk and enter the market. It doesn't matter. But this is usually the mean, the average mean, and this is the level what we should be paying attention to. But sometimes, as I say, the price may, may stop uh, 15 pips close to that level and then go in our direction. So use 15 pip buffer zone. Now, today week setups, guys, and I see a lot of questions, so I will answer it after I show you today uh, setups and this week setups. And, guys, don't forget, these levels and these setups are valid for today, tomorrow, and sometimes the day after tomorrow. So, until Wednesday, not later, because... Then, uh, until Wednesday, we should already made our trades. We cannot make setups after Wednesday, this recap. You can trade by using my analysis that I post on Admiral Markets and Forex Street, Forex Factory, and so on. And I advise you to visit Admiral Markets because it's uh, the, the, prime, uh, the prime website that is the front page of my analysis and uh, I have my technical section just for myself there so the information on Almer Marcus technical section is usually uh, the most uh, it's instant it's usually the fastest one and I usually tweet about it so you can read it immediately euro dollar is ranging okay so we would either buy or sell this is where I would take a sell trade at 1160 1.1200 target price is here this is stop loss and I mind you again these setups should happen until Wednesday so Wednesday is the last day for setups usually Wednesday during New York session if you don't see a trade a setup initiated until New York session on Wednesday okay then don't enter it but usually it will happen during the first three days uh, euro dollar Alexa didn't happen because this is actually what I'm looking in now moment until uh, late New York session on Wednesday this is what I'm looking at primarily this could happen 1030 yeah but if you see it again then well this is a setup so you could actually use this setup if it happens or you could use this setup I would prefer a sell trade but we will see what we will have so this is set up for euro dollar and let me show you the chart actually 
will show you now. Give me just a couple of seconds. So euro dollar and okay here. So you can see euro dollar. It's being rejected, guys, from uh, 89 EMA. So watch for a possible T89 on the close of this uh, one-hour candle. This is also a four-hour candle. So it will be interesting to see how it will close. But I suspect that this could be maybe T89. But watch this. It's already double. Now, if it breaks to the upside, I would really go with 1160, guys, because here it's a very important level. Actually, you can see around 1150, 1160, it's actually 88.6, four-hour historical selling. And if you see a break of it, if we don't see a break, but we see a close with a pin bar, this could mean, guys, T89. So maybe you can, you can have a few pips here and there just by trading T89 rejection, guys, okay? So it could happen here, definitely, okay? Correlation matrix will help you if you trade multiple pairs. And here uh, you can enter whatever you wish, guys. So if you trade multiple pairs, use correlation matrix. Okay. Now that is for uh, euro dollar. Now we go to pound dollar. Pound dollar is in downtrend, but we have an uptrend correction. Positional buy trade at 32.50. We have a stop loss at 32.05. And TP at 3520. Now I would sell 3530 with 3570 stop and 3350 is TP. Now let's see what we will have. So 3250 could be the first possible trade. It's close now to our entry, very close. The reason is, guys, we have a lot of uh, upward price action lately. But if you go uh, to higher time frames, you will see that this is actually a correction. So what I think is actually that we could see another leg upward. We have also a trend line. We have a mini channel here. See? We have a mini channel. So actually this all tells us that uh, this pair is having a, actually a retracement. Okay? So 34, 32.50 could be a buy trade. Now it's very close to our POC zone. 32, uh, sorry, uh, 32, uh, 32.50 is our main entry, but it's close to our POC zone, so it might start to reject. This is stop loss and this is target. But guys, don't go very, very high for the target because there is a lot of resistance. It should break in order to go to the target. First resistance will be 33.12 uh, and then we will have 34 and so on. But this is the ultimate target, 35.20, okay? See, there is a lot of selling here. So that, that is also a final target, okay? Yeah, th there is a divergence here indeed. And the price is going to the upside, yes. Correct, Ron. And of course, if we don't see anything, maybe we should see sell. Sell is 35.30. 35.70 stop loss. And the target price is Australian dollar is in uptrend. We could see a buy at 75.70. Stop loss is 75.30. Target is 76.70. Possible sell at 76.90. 77.20. 
knee is a stop loss and target price is 7570. Uh, let's check this is a technical analysis but let's check if we see any any news that could mess up with our analytics I don't think so guys so today is let's see it like this K20 Yeah, RBA meeting minutes, guys. This could uh, be interesting indeed. Indeed. Uh, Ilya, protect your profit because there will be strong news uh, on RBA. So uh, protect your profit always. Don't think about it. Protect your profit. You should, uh, you guys, if you're short already on Australian dollar, try to... Uh, take half of your profit and move the rest to break even. Uh, alt means alternative trade. So guys, this is important. So this trade will be a risky one. So, okay, so there, there is a risk warning that I will put here about this trade because RB of RBA meeting minutes. But still, I think that these levels could hold. So let's see. Okay. Dollar cat 3080 sell, 3120 stop. Okay, and TP is 2980, TP2 is 2940. So dollar cat 3080. You see here the price is trying to go up. It looks like uh, inverted head and shoulders. Left, head, right. So I assume it might go down. But uh, 3080 should be a hard level to crack. Maybe it's better to use previous swing like this. So that is it. A lot of confluence here at around 3080. So I would be looking for a sell should price hit this level. Okay. Thirty eighty. And this is the setup. Australian dollar New Zealand. Guys, I did the analysis today. Nothing has changed. Everything is the same. Positional buy trade around 6, 0640. Stop loss is 0595. So now the price is 0680. So for all of you who actually traded Australian dollar New Zealand setup last week, uh, you see how trend is strong. It went two, three hundred pips from our entry POC zone. And this is a possible breakout. If it breaks 0.690, okay, it should proceed towards 0.740. To 70 guys. Now the reasons for my trade setup are clear and I said it today. So go and read it on Admiral Markets web website. You see it's stepping up the trend line. So this is an uptrend and we could see some additional buying should a price proceed into POC, but it's struggling to break this region here. Now the question, guys, okay? So this is it. I will go through slides again. Uh, let me see the question. So questions now. 
Elle is asking, hi Nenad, can you send MACD? Yes, please use my email and send me a request. gmail.com is my email address. Next question. Uh, if you put a trailing stop of 20 pips, how do you know if you should re-enter a trade if it gets stopped out? Well, I don't put a trailing stop of 20 on a classical way. How I do it? Let's say that, for example, Michigan. Let's say that I was long here and my stop loss was put here, for example. So my trade is in profit, let's say 30 pips. I just move my stop loss like this to plus 20. So that is how I do it. I don't use standard trailing stops. I only use these kind of trailing stops. Those are called profit stops. So yes, I manually move stop to secure my profit. And Michigan, if you your trade is stopped out, but your risk is too small, let's say 0.5 or 1% for that trade, you can always re-enter if you see it fit. Yes, because your maximum risk should not exceed 5% per day. Emre is asking, can we set and, set and forget your levels during all week? Not Emre, not during all week. These levels are usually good, but for today, tomorrow, and sometimes the day after tomorrow. So you can set it up, but you need to watch the trade because trade management is also important. You don't want to give up 50, 60 pips of profit. You don't want to trade it with a stop loss. So that is why you can watch the levels. You can spot it out, but don't set, set, and forget a week that is actually during all week. That is too much. Emre is asking, should we revise it during the week? So let's say that we have a sell position here now at this point so if it already it, if it's already started so if the price already started to develop then you cannot revise during the week because the setup is already happening okay gbp dollar was initiated so I advise a very low risk trade for that one and you can see GBP dollar is actually it hit our POC zone now okay so that is a question can we set and forget during all week no don't do that simply watch the chart see if there was any rejection if there was no rejection from the POC zone, then you can enter the market. Next question. ORN 8110. Is it a level for shorting? ORN. Well, ORN rags could be short because you still have head and shoulders generally this is uptrend but yeah you could see some selling here definitely yeah you should see some selling dollar cat 3080 or 3140 rags 3080 my pick 3080 my is dollar cat so we need to see a bigger setup a bigger pullback for a potentially short trade mm, 
next question. Dollar Swiss is strong T eighty nine on four hour time frame. Let's see. Four hour time frame. This is actually strong T eighty nine to the upside. Mm -mm -mm. Dollars we see on four hour. We don't see a sell, we see only buy here. See? Elmo is asking GBP dollar. No, GBP OD dollar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. GBP OD dollar. Let me find it. It's a downtrend on four hour. And on one hour it shows uptrend, but it's close to resistance. And let's see. Okay, so indicators, moving average, trend, moving average. Yeah, we already have 89. But actually, guys, what I'm seeing here is, see this, GBPOD. Elmo, this is actually potential head and shoulders. So be careful about this one. This is a potential head and shoulders. Okay. So GP dollar looks it could go down soon. Emre is asking, uh, should we set both of them? Yes, as long as it is within the risk limit. Euro yen, SM is asking. This is uptrend, but still this might sell soon. This is, if it goes here, head and shoulders. Next question, uh, do you think the stop loss should be 76.90? Well, I don't know. I would go with higher because Australian dollar is in uptrend. But also it has to do with elections that were held in uh, Australia. So this is still uptrend, guys. So what I would like to see is buy trade primarily here. 75.70. See? And now it looks like it's being rejected at this point. So yeah, this could be a trade set up now on Australian dollar. Next question. I'm waiting guys, so please ask, I will answer. Dollar CAD should be the trade of the week, Adele is commenting, well maybe it will be the trade of the week. Euro Audi, goodbye at 44.20. 
Ankit is asking. Euro audio. Let's see. And then Greg is asking. Let's see. Yeah, this could be a buy trade. But this pair is actually in a whipsaw mode. I don't like to see this. It's a sort of a whipsaw. Uh, Greg, don't you move it to break even first, Nanad. Greg, there are three different ways to do a trade management. One way, let's say that you want to go, for example, you want to go short from here. Once you're in a trade, you will opt for one of three different scenarios. You can scale out and put your stop loss to break even. You can scale out a couple of times and put a stop loss to break even. You can actually, that is your option, what you decide about your trade. You can, after 20, 22 or 3 pips, you can put your stop loss to break even completely or eventually you can use a profit stop. So it's up to you, Greg. You can close your trade, partially scale out, scale out a bit deeper, or eventually, eventually, you can move your stop to be in profit. Next question, do you also see POC for dollar yen 106.92 okay next question let's see a lot of uh, questions here guys I'm trying to cope with it uh, Greg is saying tell him to set an alert yes uh, guys if you if you actually want to see and uh, to hear uh, an alert, you can set it up on Admiral Markets here, Allah Manager. Here you can set up an alert, okay? Here you can actually use it, count alert, alert at 15 when price gets to 15 uh, points of POC zone and so on. So yes, thanks Greg for reminders. Michigan is asking, for example, pound dollar was in profit, then retraced 30 pips and continued down. Should we have re-entered? It's up to you. If you see that the trend is strong, yes, you can opt for another entry. But you need to ensure that the trend is strong. Uh, Ante is asking, uh, hi, Nana New here. Where can I learn about your 2 MACD stochastic strategy? Uh, Ante, I, I did a, a webinar in Zagreb, so you can actually ask uh, Sasha to give you the indicators and maybe if there was a recording. But if you don't see a recording, then go to Admiral Markets YouTube channel. I will.
guys, no voice. Oh, sorry, I, I see no voice. Why? I sh we should see voice. Yeah, it, it, it was obviously a problem with Citrix because uh, there was, uh, yeah, there was a no voice. Okay, guys, what did you hear the last? What was the last that you hear me speaking? Because I went through all of your questions. Well, MACD YouTube. Ah, before the alarm. Okay, guys, for alarms, go like this, okay? For alarms. Here you see account alarms. Here. And you can always add the alarm. If you see a breakout, you can add it to breakout alarm. So just use it like this. See price level, price change. That is for breakouts. So you can effectively uh, try to trade breakouts with alarms. My MACD stochastic strategy, guys, uh, for, that, for that recording, send me an email. Okay, send me an email and you will see a recording. Uh, I'm not sure that uh, we can see a recording from my seminar in Zagreb and uh, Ljubljana, but uh, there should be uh, on YouTube the explanation for my 2 MACD stochastic strategy. If you want to see the recording on YouTube, send me an email, okay? Please send me an email and I will send you the link of a recording. Uh, next is uh, New Zealand. Yes, here, uh, the do the dollar yen was, yeah. Dollar yen was actually here. You could see probably it uh, selling from this spot on. So probably you will see some selling here, okay, from this spot to the downside, okay. Uh, Adele is asking, uh, can I, uh, should I come to Canada? No. Can I come to Canada, Montreal, to give seminar? Adele, if a uh, company invites me to hold a seminar in Canada, I will gladly come. Why not? I am very, very eager to come to Canada. Why not? Of course. Uh, but uh, as I say, as you know, guys, some uh, seminars are recorded, some maybe are not. So I'm not sure that my seminar in Croatia and Slovenia uh, has been actually recorded. But if it was not, please, for all of you who want to see my double max stochastic strategy on YouTube, send me an email and I will send it over to you, okay? Because I'm not sure that it can be actually seen, okay? New Zealand dollar, and then I will roll the slides. Okay, New Zealand dollar here. Yes, New Zealand dollar, four-hour time frame is actually long here. And this was the spot to go possibly long. You see a New Zealand dollar. But the one-hour time frame is still short. So this is just a retracement. So what I would do is actually I would wait for possibly another sell because guys four hour was long you see but the problem is on one hour time frame this low has been broken to the downside so I assume there could be a retest of this level and retest could come after a retracement so this is your Fibonacci and try to enter on a level I'm, I cannot do a deeper analysis but here this could be your selling spot here to retest this region and if you see it go up you can buy but here actually is your selling spot okay and now uh, yeah I will go uh, with a recap of slides euro dollar Pound dollar already in, it hit 3250, so let's see. Australian dollar, 
be aware of today's news on Australian dollar so please don't go with a big risk or don't trade if you're not sure it's a big risk yes MRA pound dollar has already triggered buy position indeed dollar cat here and Australian dollar New Zealand also for Australian dollar New Zealand wait guys for the news there will be important news event so it will be very 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 uh, the price will whipsaw probably during the RPN announcement so please be very careful uh, let me go just quick through Ante Ante you're still here uh, just send me an email and I will send you the recording, Ante. Okay, so okay, I will send a chat message. Okay. Okay, yeah, roll slides. Okay, uh, Michael, still I can roll slides. Thank you. You're welcome, Ante, no problem. So let's see if we have some uh, pips. I hope that we will have pips. Definitely we see pips and protect your trades when you are in profit, guys. Okay, protect your profits, protect your trades especially because we could see some movement uh, during the Asia session, during Asia Tokyo session. And I still see some people from uh, Croatia and Slovenia here on seminar. Thank you for attending. I'm very glad that you are here guys and I hope that we will have a great time together. Just follow the analysis, uh, recap and, and school and you will be fine, definitely. Uh, Australian dollar, dollar CAD, here Nafisa is saying thanks and yeah guys thank, thank you all of course and you're welcome of course. Uh, Australian dollar New Zealand you see here buy trades and, and uh, well uh, possible breakout so just what I'm thinking about this Saudi New Zealand is uh, this uh, RBA meeting minutes. So even if, if we see a drop on Audi New Zealand, just because of news, I think that we could see it to the upside. So just pay attention or don't trade Audi pairs or trade it with a low risk. But this should go up indeed. But I assume that there will be no surprises from RBA. So that we will see. I, I, I hope that it will not be many surprises. Uh, and finally, one request for pound yen. Uh, yeah, pound yen could start selling also soon. Okay, four hour time frame. You see, this could be a soon a selling spot here. Okay, next four hour candle if it spikes towards hundred and uh, fourteen two, we could start selling. So just pay attention to this region here and we could see some selling yeah yeah of course 46 definitely 46 definitely this region here definitely but just for now moment this could be also short okay like this and of course 46 so thank you again guys pleasure to meet you and I will be here with you soon expect new analysis tomorrow of course and new webinars thanks for listening to me wish you a great great week and talk to you soon cheers and trade safe